Good evening. My name is Jason Tako. Going to be doing a really quick study of this tree. If I don't get stung by a yellow jacket first. Don't know why they would come around here. Colors on my palette, titanium white, cadmium yellow light. It's more like cadmium lemon actually. Um, cadmium orange, Indian yellow, yellow ochre, uh, transparent red oxide, cadmium red, that's cadmium red medium, uh, alizarin crimson, ultramarine blue, cobalt blue, cerulean blue, and viridian. And I'm painting on a very small canvas. This is six by eight. And my main objective for this is I wanted to do just this quick study because the lighting and everything is fairly similar to um, to a scene that I had photographed a big tree out in Montana and it was about this time of day evening light hitting that tree and I wasn't able just didn't have the time to really photograph or paint it so I thought well I'll just um, get some reference elsewhere. So the big thing is the light. So that's what I'm here to capture. Keeping it small, keeping it quick, because this light's gonna change very fast. And I will probably chase it a little bit Chase it to the point of where I want it. I'm gonna go a little bit lighter with the ground plane. And so what I do with these videos is I'm gonna show you guys the YouTube public, the first little bit of it. If you wanna watch the rest, um, become a Patreon member. That's for my Patreon members to watch the whole thing. $5 a month. You can see all my full-length planar videos. Okay, so big thing is I want to make sure I want to get my um, ground plane blocked in. I still have to get the sky in. I'm probably going to save that for last. That's going to be the thing that changes the least. But I want to make sure the ground plane is sufficiently light. There is some shadow in here on this ground plane. Let's see if we can sneak a bit of that in. A little cooler maybe. And we are in an area where there's traffic, so apologize for that. Somebody had the audacity to build a road right by where I wanted the paint, so. Okay, I think I will block in a little bit of this sky just to get a note of it in there. I want to make sure my values are pretty much right on. It actually looks like when I'm looking up at it, I'm seeing a bit more red. So I'm going to go with a bit of ultramarine blue and cobalt with some white. This tree's fairly high up. Just want to make sure that this sky is a bit lighter in value than the ground plane. Get all my angles and consequent values in there. Now the reference photo, there's a whole bunch of other trees around. I'm going to leave those out because I don't need them. So they will stay out. All right, so now for the light part of the trees, I'm going to focus right in down here. I'm going to grab a bit of that Indian yellow. 
This is really important here. This is where you want to squint at the scene and really compare this value and color with what's going on down here as well as with the sky. Sounds like we got some motorcycles coming. Big chopper, cool. When you start getting toward the top here, like I am, really squint and compare the highlights up here to the sky. They're going to be significantly darker than in the sky, and that's very important to capture. Gonna block in some more distant indication of distant trees here. Should have put more colors on my palette. I think I'm gonna run out pretty quickly. So I have a lot of these main colors blocked in. Now it's just a question of making adjustments, putting in some of the things that I didn't get in the first time. I like to switch to a palette knife sometimes for this quick stuff because it gets me away from all the little needless stuff and helps keep my focus on what's essential. By the way, I forgot to say, if you like this video, do me a favor and hit the like button. If you're new, new to my channel, if you want to subscribe, that would be awesome. And as I said, I do the full video for my Patreon members. So five bucks a month. Click on the link below in the description. That'll get you there. I also teach live online classes. So if you're interested in that, let me know. You'll find links for that as well. Constantly squinting at this. We have some brighter, or lighter I should say. I don't like to use the word bright. I try to get that out of my painting vocabulary, but right up in here. Okay, I'm gonna stop now for the public, replenish a few colors, switch to Patreon only. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, consider joining my Patreon account, and we'll see you again.